Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel in a different location. Very, very excited to share this video with you. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll have seen a few weeks ago, I shared with you a video with a whole range of different products from Cricut. And that opens up so many possibilities for different types of businesses you could start. This particular video is about investing in new products and how it's sometimes wiser to spend a little bit more on a product that will do the job properly for a long time. So what I've got here is the Hotronics Auto Open Clam Heat Press. Now this is a heat press that is designed to give you a very consistent heat across the uh, heating bed and also very consistent pressure across the uh, bed as well. Having those two features is very important, especially when you're heat applying transfers to t-shirts and other apparel items, because otherwise the transfers that you're applying might not adhere properly, and it can take you a lot longer and a lot more attempts to get a perfect product. Now this is packed full of really good features, but the main thing that drew me to this product was the reliability and company background. Now Hotronics have been making heat presses for a long, long time. And the angle I wanna explore with you in this video, apart from showing you this in action, is that when you're investing in new products for your business, and especially if you're manufacturing a physical product, so you could be investing in, for example, a good printer to print out photo prints. Uh, in this case, we're looking at investing in a good heat press to produce really good quality personalized garments and apparel. When you're looking at something like this, there are so many options. And I went through a lot of research to find a heat press. And I looked at really cheap ones, first of all, on the likes of eBay and Amazon. Nothing wrong with those platforms, but there were heat presses available for around about sort of 200 to 400 pounds in the UK. I looked at lots of forums, Many people said, and it's correct advice, is that if that's your budget, then that's fine. You will still be able to produce good quality t-shirts. But if your budget is a little bit higher, it makes more financial sense to invest in something that's gonna last you for a long time and that's gonna really deliver on quality. Let me stop talking and I'll show you this in action. If I've been using this for about three weeks now, I think I found my way around the press pretty well. We've got this heating bed on the top here. This underside gets extremely hot. You have to heat this up to the correct temperature for the type of transfer you're applying. And then you get this uh, sort of platen at the bottom. These are interchangeable. You can change these up to smaller ones or up to this large one that I've got here. And uh, they're very easy to swap. There's just a catch underneath. Now this is normally blue. I've got this cover, which is an additional purchase on top. This extends the life of the platen, also makes it easier to put t-shirts on. You've also got the arm that you pull down on from the top. This has got a nice padded handle. It's also got uh, an adjuster here. This is, in, this is what increases the pressure over the whole bed. So this is like a central system that then creates that even pressure across the whole uh, sort of heating bed. Uh, also at the back, you've got a digital display. The digital display's got three buttons on, a plus and a minus for adjusting the settings, and then a mode button where you can uh, cycle through the temperature and the timer as well. Now the timer is very important because you apply different transfers for different periods of time. Uh, and then when that timer is reached, the press will automatically open. This is an auto open clamshell press. Uh, one more thing worth mentioning is cheaper presses. I found that you have to use both hands to really pull them down and then they don't open themselves. You have to open them yourself or if they do open, they really fly open very fast. This has got some magnetic assistance which helps you to close the press uh, and also it opens uh, via this pneumatic system. So although there is a little bit of a, a a sort of a jerk towards the end of the process, it does open a lot more smoothly. Now I've got a t-shirt here, I'm just gonna thread on to this lower platen and you'll see the fact that we've got this um, extra silver piece, this extra cover, 
on here really does help with threading the t-shirt. Uh, makes it a lot easier. Now normally you just do a little bit of a pre-press for about five seconds with very minimal pressure. You just hand hold this down. Uh, this takes out some of the uh, moisture in the t-shirt and it also gives you a nice smooth t-shirt to print onto, so it takes out any sort of wrinkles. You just let that cool down a little bit. Uh, whilst this is cooling down, I will point out to you that at the back, the temperature has reached, if you look at the digital uh, gauge at the back here, has reached the required temperature for the transfer that I'm putting on here. Uh, this is a sample transfer. This is uh, what's something that's used a four color process, so a full color transfer and we have to apply this at around about 170 degrees. So 170 to 180 degrees for 10 seconds. And you can use various um, sort of rulers and T-squares to get this straight, but because this is just a, a demonstration for you, I'm just gonna hand align this up. And then we simply place this on to the T-shirt like so. And then when you've got it in the desired position, you clamp the uh, press down and then you can see the counter at the back we've also got a pressure readout as well so it's at seven and then it will automatically open so that's automatically opened we can now take our t-shirt out and once this is cooled we can remove the um, paper backing sheet and we we'll see the design so now this is cooled down sufficiently because this is a cold peel we can actually peel this backing paper off and you will see the full color design. It is really very, very impressive. This has adhered perfectly. This is now machine washable up to about 40 degrees. Um, you're not supposed to iron on this front side, um, but you can see that it does have a slight sort of um, vinyl feel to it, but it's very, very soft. It's not like those uh, very thick sort of transfers that you get on some t-shirts. It feels very, very soft indeed. And the actual quality of the print is absolutely superb. So what do you think of the t-shirt? I think it's a really nice quality. And the fact that this has adhered properly to the t-shirt is a credit to a good quality heat press. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this video, when you're starting a business, it's important to calculate your startup budget. If something like this is out of budget, then Hotronics do make different models or sort of lower down the range that don't automatically open. So that's an option for you. Uh, and if your budget really does only allow for a very cheap entry level heating press, then that's fine. But I wanna emphasize that if you have got that startup budget there, look at the pieces of equipment that you're gonna use time and time and time again. So something you're gonna use once a week or once a month perhaps, you can spend a little bit less on, but something that's your main piece of equipment, it's worth investing a little bit more. This press, for example, if I was doing 100 t-shirts in a week, or 200 t-shirts in a week, this is gonna be clamped down, opened up multiple times, it has to be reliable. I'm gonna be applying transfers, which cost, I have to buy these transfers to apply to the t-shirts, so there's a cost implication there. So I need to make sure that the heat distribution is even and the pressure distribution is even so I get a reliable heat transfer onto my T-shirt. So investing a bit more in the piece of equipment that does the main function of your business is extremely important. And this applies, as I mentioned before, to lots of different pieces of equipment. Maybe you're gonna use a computer every single day then that's the piece of equipment you should spend a little bit more on. Maybe you're gonna consistently print out full color prints, then your main focus on your budget should go into that really good quality printer. If you're gonna be transferring uh, transfers and designs onto t-shirts and other apparel and other items, then the heat press should be your focus of investment. So do bear that in mind. Uh, this particular one was purchased from Target Transfers. Uh, absolutely fantastic advice, really good customer service, uh, amazing delivery service as well. I've yet to have a, an issue with this. Uh, touch wood, uh, I won't have an issue with it, but I'm sure that if I ever did in the future, then that service would be there as well. I've left a link to their website down in the video description area. 
That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you've got any questions or comments, please do put them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. I'll see you in another one very, very soon.